today's video, I'm going to be making my own Bloxburg starter house. No, I'm not going to be renovating the existing starter homes because they are crusty, dusty, musty. But anyway, I'm going to be building my own Bloxburg starter house from scratch. The only rules are is that I can't use any game passes and I'm thinking the budget can be 20000 And it's just going to be like your basic starter home. So one bedroom, one bathroom. Okay, I don't know why I decided to glide in. I feel like, oh, okay, I think I just died. So yeah, let's get started. So as you can see, I have 100,000 to work with, but I'm not gonna use all that. Cause as you know, the starter homes aren't meant to be real fancy. They're just meant to be, you know, basic starter homes. Obviously I'm going to make it very, very small. So first we just have to do the base of it. I think this is gonna be it for like the layout. Again, nothing too big and glamorous because it is a basic starter home after all. So over here is gonna be the kitchen, lounge room, tiny little dining room, entry. And then this is gonna be the bathroom. And then this a little one by one is going to be the closet. I don't want it to be too glamorous. I want to stick by the rules because like when has a starter home in Bloxburg ever been that fancy? Never darling. Okay, we are going to add these roofs though. Also if you guys want to copy this little layout there you go. I swear placing roofs in Bloxburg is like so difficult sometimes. Oh, why is it not listening to me? Okay just like that. Okay that's like a cute little layout to work with I think. Now here's where the fun begins. Okay if this wasn't a starter home I would add like pillars and make it very very detailed but because it is a starter home I don't want it to be too detailed and too expensive either. So for the windows I might just use this standard window. They turn this off. No game passes. Okay maybe something like that. Oh okay. Wait I just thought of something. Can I add this up here? Oh that'd be so cute if I could add like a little window up here. Um, I also want this room which is going to be the lounge room to be very bright. I want it to look and feel like a green room like that and then I just kind of do the same concept over here. You know what I never realized how hard it is with no game passes. So you know what if you don't have game passes respect oh look how creepy my character looks over there why is she staring at me like that okay this is gonna be the living room so the theme i'm choosing is kind of like a cozy cottage and i want a little outdoor balcony and then i want a little garden over here because blocksburg starter homes they do have um gardens but they're not like nice gardens now for the fence i feel like a white picket fence would just look so cute like this oh <gasps> wait that's adorable the starter homes can't be too expensive okay we'll We'll do that last. I think this is going to be the bathroom and then this is going to be the bedroom. So maybe two windows like on each side or something. Okay, I'm not sure where I want to put the door. Um, okay, it does have to be a bit kind of basic door. I guess we can use this door. It's kind of basic, but like it has a little window. Okay, we shall put her there. Okay, the house value is at 2,700 so far. And as you can see, this area is very dark. So I'm going to open this lounge room. So it's kind of like one open space. Okay, now to paint the outside of this monster. I don't know what color I want the outside. I don't want it to be like too overboard. Maybe just like hurricane gray I guess. Okay I guess that's the color scheme that I'm gonna go for with the house. Not too schnubby. It's fine. YOLO. Did I really just say YOLO? Someone take my channel away from me. Okay there we go. Now I just need to do like this little slanted roof bit here and obviously I want to add like more decor items um, at the front here but let's just finish the outside first and then we'll see how much money we have because I don't want it to be too expensive because we are on a budget. Okay like I like that wallpaper for my bedroom and for the inside of the house because it is a starter home I'm just gonna keep it very basic and like white. Okay there we go that's all the walls painted I think. We need a door that leads into the bedroom so I'm just gonna use these plain doors. Oh my god I was gonna use an umbrella but that's $590 and a starter home would not have that. Oh my god basic TV set. No I refuse to use that. But this is the entryway so I feel like it needs a little stool and then I'll have like a little hook rack above it. Put some newspapers give it a little bit of life. Okay, now for the bookshelf, I'm going to use this empty simplicity bookcase. I know everyone hates it, but you know what? If you color it, I think it'll look nice. I think I might put it there, kind of in front of the window, but... And I feel like we need a little photo frame. It is $105, but we need it, okay? I feel like the starter homes have incorporated a lot of color, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to have a basic house, guys. I know, are you proud of me? Basic house who? Okay, we do need like a little carpet here that's like... <gasps> Oh my god, duh, we need the iconic welcome mat. Like, hello? That is so iconic to every starter home. They always have a welcome mat, so we'll add that right there. And then we'll just have a little round carpet. Oh, actually, I want a round carpet in the living room. Make it big and chunky and like that. Oh! <gasps> Guys, I have made a grave mistake. My thing has been on this whole time. 
guys, I was cheating and I didn't even know I was cheating. Luckily, I didn't do the whole house yet. I just, I just had done these. Okay, now let's get started on this lounge room because I'm kind of looking forward to that. Now for comfort, I'm gonna just be using these simple armchairs because they are the cheapest option. And again, can't make it too expensive. So I might add like two here like this and then add one here. So it's a very like welcoming space. Okay, now I need a table. Simplicity end table. Oh, you know what? I can paint them. I don't know why I'm like freaking out for. Okay, I'm just gonna paint it. It'll look fine. There we go. See, we put one there. Also, I need to change the color of these couches and I feel like this wall needs to be a feature wall and if you don't know what a feature wall is, it's kind of like one wall in the house is colored different to make it stand out. Okay, now for the lights. Oh, these are awful but they're very cheap so I think I'm just gonna use these. If I color it, it'll be fine. See, if I color it, it looks, it looks okay and I feel like we need a little table in the middle here. You don't realize how expensive everything is until you're like on a tight budget. Now we just need a little fruit bowl. I feel like every starter home has a fruit bowl somewhere. Okay, I feel like that's it for the lounge room. I don't want to make it too fancy. <gasps> Wait, guys, I just realized we're missing a TV. Now, starter homes usually have, have this really old TV, but I don't want to use that. So I'm just going to use this one. Is it a little bit fancy? Yes, but it's fine. We need to splurge a little bit. Oh, we also need curtains because we don't want creeps like looking in the house. These are really nice, but they're expensive i don't know it's fine you know what i will make this work you're probably like alaska how are you gonna make this work with only 20k and you know what i have to say to that you're probably right so i'm gonna delete these curtains <laughs> now we just need a light that's kind of hanging at the top here even though i hate overhead lighting i feel like it's essential in a starter home to have overhead lighting okay i think that's the lounge room done now let's go into the kitchen okay the kitchen's where it starts to get expensive obviously we need some counters and i'm just gonna use the most cheap counters I can find. Okay, I think that's kind of cute. And of course we need this basic oven. Would it be a starter home without this basic oven? Absolutely not. So we need that. Oh my gosh, you know what every single basic Bloxburg starter house has? A pizza box. So you best believe I'm gonna add a pizza box. And then finally, I think we need these little cabinets up the top here. Okay, there's our cute little kitchen painted. Now I just have to add some curtains in here. Because again, we don't want any peeping toms. All right, those, I would add those curtains, but they would literally catch on fire so maybe not the best idea and for the dining table i'm just gonna add this simplicity table because it's only 60 dollars and um i feel like that's good for a starter home you know and i'm just gonna use these simplicity chairs because they kind of match okay now for the lighting <gasps> oh my gosh look how awful that lighting is okay this is tricky i feel like the linen's too yellow but the white's too white so um in a little bit of a pickle actually i might use these simplicity wall lamps and put two of them like that and then paint them oh okay we're going good for money the house is nearly ten thousand, so we still have your bathroom and my bedroom i'm just gonna add a little carpet in the middle here oh i also feel like this place is lacking some plants 260 dollars we're adding it i don't care i love how i'm like oh my god that's so expensive i can't and then i buy two of them okay you know what that's the kitchen slash a dining area it's not meant to be fancy it's not meant to be like a big hunker hunker mansion it's just meant to be a basic starter home and i think that's what it is okay now for my bed there we go now we need some end tables i'm just gonna use these ones because they're cheap and they actually look nice okay it doesn't look too bad and i feel like every room needs a bunch of storage so i'm just gonna have these like floating shelves and just put like maybe some books well it's really difficult to play stuff when you have no game passes you're limited to a lot of things. Okay, maybe a little lava lamp. That looked pretty cute. Okay, and in here we have the little closet. Don't tell me I can't do that. Are you serious? Ugh, fine. Fine. Maybe this like very cheap simplicity dresser. <gasps> I feel like we need some posters because it is a bedroom. Okay, I think that's it for the bedroom. So let's finally move on to the last room, which is the bathroom. And for the sink, we can use this one because I really I actually do like that sink. Also, I feel like we need a little storage unit in the corner where we can just like stack our toilet paper or like something like that. See, that doesn't look too bad. And then we can just put like a bunch of toilet paper in here. There we go. Whoever is going to the toilet is absolutely stacked up. And for the mirror, I'm just going to use this round mirror and maybe put some towels underneath here. Why is there so many soap options? Like, there's so many. And for the lighting, I'm just going to use overhead lighting because I feel like bathrooms need overhead lighting. Okay, and I feel like that's it. I feel like it includes all the essential items that you need in a bathroom without going overboard, especially because it is a starter home after all. Okay, now surprisingly, I do have um, a bit of money left, so I'm just going to finish the outside like I said I would. And for the fence at the front, 
I'm just gonna use this deck railing. Okay, she's looking pretty cute. Okay, and here I want like a little outdoor seating area. They have the wooden porch swing. See, that looks cute. Okay, and I feel like that is the starter home or complete. You know what? It's kind of cute. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like a comforting house for some reason. Okay, so we got a little garden over here, and at the front we have our little porch. Oh, <gasps> and the little swing. See, I mean, look how cute that is. Are you kidding me? We can just sit here, have a little coffee. We have our little entryway, and this is the kitchen slash dining area. You know, not my cup of tea, but like, I think it's pretty good for a starter home. Like, it has all like the essential things you need in starter home, so not bad. And then over here is the living room. You know what? I actually really like the way this living room turned out. I think it's so cute. That's perfect. The house value comes to 19,284. So like rounded off like 20k. And then in here we have the bedroom. Obviously it's very basic and I just changed the decals to like the free decals you get when you join the game. And then coming into the final room which is the bathroom. Okay the bathroom is very like white and basic but it has everything you need in a bathroom and I think it turned out pretty pretty snazzy. Anyway guys that was me building my own Bloxburg starter home. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!